This video shows the installation of spinner cut and fit monoblock plast 2000 connectors for LF 1.25 inch and LF 1.58 inch annularly corrugated foam cable using a spinner trimming tool. When installed correctly, spinner cut and fit monoblock connectors show outstanding RF performance and best environmental protection. All spinner cut and fit monoblock connectors are delivered with installation instructions which also list the required tools. Firstly, remove the cable jacket to the dimension given in the installation instructions. Take care not to damage the outer conductor. The trimming tool houses two blades. The main one to cut cable layers, the smaller one to slit the cable jacket only. Place the collet guide of the trimming tool in the corrugation nearest to the trimmed jacket. Close the clamping lever to fix the trimming tool to the cable. Turn feed hand wheel counterclockwise manually until the blade is situated close to the cable. Cut outer conductor by turning the crank clockwise. After cutting the outer conductor, the feed hand wheel can be turned counterclockwise manually until the blade is through the foam and just before the inner conductor. Cut inner conductor by turning the crank clockwise. The cable is trimmed when the inner conductor is completely cut. Turn back the feed hand wheel, open the clamping lever and remove the trimming tool. Remove the jacket with a knife to the slit. Insert the flaring unit's guide pin into the inner conductor. Ensure that the flaring unit spike is positioned under the outer conductor. Turn the tool clockwise to flare the outer conductor. Check the foam is fully separated and evenly spaced from the outer conductor. If necessary, use a knife or screwdriver to remove any remains of foam from the outer conductor to ensure an optimal contact. Remove any metal debris with a nylon brush. The connector is already pre-adjusted during assembly to support an easy and immediate installation. Therefore, please do not screw the pre-installed back nut forward or backward. Push the entire connector with a slight rotation onto the cable until a click confirms that the connector has snapped over the outer conductor. Now, pull the connector to lock it with the corrugation. Tighten the back nut and the connector body using poly hook spanners. Make sure to hold the body and rotate the back nut only. Torque the back nut to the value given in the installation instructions. Tape the gap between back nut and cable jacket to prevent PLAST 2000 leakage. Pierce the tape to ensure an air outlet when filling the connector with PLAST 2000. Screw the PLAST 2000 tube into the charging hole. Squeeze tube slowly to fill the inside space equally. 
When plast 2000 leaks from the vent hole, it has filled the main inside space of the connector. Tape the vent hole and continue squeezing PLAST 2000 into the connector. When PLAST 2000 leaks all over the PS tape, it has filled the inside space entirely and the connector is sealed. Remove PLAST 2000 tube and quickly screw the included plastic cap into the charging hole. Now the spinner cut and fit monoblock connector is installed.